Hey yo, what's up guys? I I like to talk about this for a second cuz I'm kind of kind of confused right now. Why would they fire him? I mean, they were just talking last mm -hmm. year mainly about just having a good team, for example. They're like this is going to be a great young team. We're going to rebuild and the team could have been a playoff team. Obviously during the bubble, they weren't that good. I'm not going to say they were bad because they they definitely weren't bad. But I'm, they didn't make the playoffs. But, I mean, does he really deserve firing after a honestly pretty good season? Brandon Ingram developed very well. Lonzo Ball had some pretty nice highlights this season. And I didn't really see much from... Drew Holiday, but he was a great defender this season. So, I mean, you know, I feel like, how are you going to fire somebody who honestly took Brandon Ingram to a, a better level? He was just going insane some games. He even had that one buzzer beater. But the weird thing is, what do they do next? You know, because they have a very appealing team. What coach do you guys think um, will come in to the Pelicans organization and actually do something? Because honestly, if you look, he has not been the best coach overall. But I feel like this season was probably his best season overall. You know, because all the rest of the years he's been here. I've been with the Pelicans in New Orleans. He's only made the playoffs once. Also, he really wasn't that good in that season. It was really Anthony Davis. Obviously, that could be the like um the whole rest of the team in general, but I feel like nobody really made developments. Anthony Davis was basically the only guy on that team. And actually, I think in 2018, they had Boogie Cousins. So, eh. <sighs> um, but I will say it's kind of weird to see it, but I'm, I'm thankful that this is a really good team and they're going to get a really good coach, I believe. Even though the Lakers have like four, <laughs> four coaches. That could be head coaches, but um, maybe they have to just find somebody that can propel this roster into a playoff team next year, or even after that, because I feel like Zion is going to need a few, few more years to develop fully and operate at his best level, and I feel like the rest of the team is very young, and they won't they won't have bad outcomes next um next up but that's been it see you guys later